dear Ma. Here I am, hopeful, willing and eager, and being carried forward into the U.S. of A. I already feel as if I own the place. Alan, Alan, here we are. Uncle! Alan. Uncle and Auntie look so different, I nearly miss them. Stop, stop, what are you doing? Stop, stop! Oh, they're real New Yorkers now. They live in a palace and drive a car worth more than the village I was born in. I often ask Uncle, 20 newsstands bought you all this? His answer? This is America. You'll never believe what people here read, Ma. Chainsaw news, American fish and tackle, convenience store directory. By the way, I'm sending you a year subscription to one called Back Pain. Uncle's put me in charge of his flagship stand and set me up in an apartment with some other employees who will be giving me a crash course in the business. He's doing so much for me, Ma. I just wish there was something I could do for myself. Can I help you? Quite a fuss with this guy. You seen the movie? Not yet. Enjoy.
Free party. How you doing, Ace? Read my mind. What magazine am I looking for? <laughs> Good deal. Let's see who the centerfold is this month, huh? Why, it's Susie. Hello, Susie. Excuse me. Good yeah. morning. Do you have a copy it of came me? in this morning. Nobody listens in this city. How did you know what I want? Well, you're here every Thursday at um, precisely 8.55. Oh, I am, am I? Your change? I got it. Enjoy. Oh, sir. Your journal, sir. Yeah. Enjoy. You smell fantastic. Come on. You crazy? About you. Well, then where were you last night? At my son's 10th birthday party. You know. <laughs> okay, I'm not father of the year, all right? But I'm not going to miss Jason's party. I've got... Hi. I'm so sorry. I cannot make change for such a That's large... That's all party. I got. That's oh, all right. That's all I got. It's okay. There we go. Lunch is on me. Yeah. I found a great place. It's like combination Mexican and Sylvania stuff. It's all dressed up for a run. Like it? Get married this morning? No, Rupert. Something better. I hear you. I hear you. This yours? Oh, no, Rupert. This is belongs to the other woman. The other woman? Yeah, yeah. Rupert, just, just mind the store, okay? I'll, I'll be right back. Aaron! Maybe you don't need more. Meeting of a lot in the hands of a hapshi. What did he call me? He called you nothing, Rupert. Uncle, I'm going to return a lost one. You're in Houston, not a lost and found department. See you around. What is this I hear of a woman? Uh, what woman, Uncle? In America, you have to be very careful. Okay. Hello. Hello. Tomorrow night, Sita is making you a favorite. Lamb Korma and real mango chutney, the one you love. So you're coming tomorrow night? Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm looking for Max. I am Max. You're Max? Uncle, I have to talk to you. Where are the reorder slips for all the magazines? Look, Uncle, I have to talk now. I'm looking for Max Finkelstein. Max, who owns this place? You really learned a lot in a short time. Hey, Max, how are you doing? He's not Max. I know Max 40 years. What happened to him? What have you done to Max? I'm the new Max. The old Max is gone. Look, Uncle, I've got to go to. The new Max? Are you a son, no. maybe? Max Finkelstein is in Miami with his daughter and her husband, the osteopath. Look, uncle, you know the computer class, the academy I go to? It's finished. We graduate tonight. What are you saying? I have a degree now. I can get a good job. What is this degree? Computers are a thing nowadays. My sister and the dean's boy is a computer nut. Well, I'm a computer nut, too. You know, Uncle, I just want to work with I them. can't even send you to the bank alone. What will you do with the computer? He's huh? right. It's the wave of the future. This is a family business. Will you butt out? You got yourself a piece of paper, and you're reading a suit to my newsstand? How much all this costs? Well, it... A fool and his money are easily lost. Uncle, I just want to run computers. It's the same bloody thing. No, I have to try a new profession. Why else did I come here? You come here to make money. Don't listen to him, boy. Stick to your guns. If you don't, you may wind up like Max Finkelstein. I'll be right back. Where you running? I'm double parked. Excuse me? I'm telling you, Melissa, he's not worth it. Excuse me? You see, I have a wallet. No, well, at least Buddy isn't asking me to split the rent. Which belongs to some. Men of boys, you just have to accept that from the start. Here. Just go. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like, no, yeah. You, you just, you know, they, every little thing and they get all upset about it. Hello? Hi, I'm here to return this. That phone is ringing. That phone is ringing. That phone is still ringing. A triple shit. I'll try that. I'll try that. 
you do? Uh, I think I'll go now. I won't come back again, and I promise. This band of idiots couldn't fix a flat tire, so what did you do? I plugged the cable in. Hey, 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 come back here. Oh. Uh, can I help you with something? Yes, you left this, yeah. Uh, at the uh, newsstand. Is there somebody following you? Oh, no, no one's chasing me. You know, I'm just trying to uh, keep out of people's way. Yeah, that's a good idea. We ought to tip him. Please, no. Please, it, it was my duty, OK? Well, bye. Bye. <laughs> my mistake, please. Just keep saying no, 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 and when you think it's yes, when it's finally time ready to say yes, you say no. We just got to do the coin thing and... There he is. Stop! Stop a minute. Stop. Damn it. Don't just... Okay. Okay, hit me. Go on, hit me. You're the guy from the newsstand, aren't you? Yeah. Where'd you learn your stuff? Computer school, night course. Well, how'd you like a job? Me. You. With computers? Well, that's what I said. Me and computers. Well, you don't work your whole life in a newsstand, do you? Come down here now. Your foolishness is getting me a ticket. Uncle, wait one minute, please. I'm getting a job with... Don't tell me just one minute. Come down here now. Who is this guy? This is my uncle, okay? Stop wasting time. You've got customers, and I want you here now. Yes, sir. Well, if you want the job, come on. Uncle? for everyone, for I am moving up in life. Hey, what's this? What are you celebrating? You, you, and you are all looking at the full-time employee of an American company. Oh, dream on. Yes, I see you are dreaming too, Sardar Saab. What is all this rubbish you're watching? Oh, she's my idea. It's for you, Arun. Hello. Hello. What have you done? You left the family business and gone to be slave for Look, some... Uncle, but... Stop butting me, you idiot. Look, you don't know what you are doing. You'll come running back to me. I gave you everything you have. Uncle, I work 12 hours a day for you, and I'm not a beggar. What do you mean, beggar? Even now, you are living in one of my best apartments. Well, if that's the way you feel, I will find my own place. Arun? Hello? I can't believe this. He hung up on me. I can't believe it. That's impossible. It must be the fault of the telephone company. I will have no one talk to me like that. At least, not on the telephone. What are you doing here with all your luggage? What's the matter? You don't understand English? Oh, I understand English, Uncle. I understand basic cobalt... For you don't understand anything. All that nonsense and you don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. Uncle, forget about me. The entire house understood you last night. You are getting too smart for your own good and now you are making American jokes. Well, I'm here in America. That's why I make American jokes. America. America! Maybe I should tell your mother to forget about a bride for you. Now you are in America. Right? 
What bride is this? She wrote me about this girl from Delhi. Yeah, but who is this girl? Her father is an engineer. Her brother is in a medical school. Her older sister is married into a good family. Yes, yes, but is there anything you know about the girl herself? She comes from a God-fearing and well-connected family. What else there is to know? I'll tell you, first I need a good job, then I need a good bride. We have a good job in the family business. I get the family, you get the business, is that? Look, look, I'm sorry. All I want is a good job. You have no respect for elders. To work to one's best abilities is the American dream. And to be grateful is the Indian tradition. Yes, young man must make his own future, uh huh? In this country, you have no future without me. I have my own destiny to fulfill, okay? You'll come back running to me. I won't. I will be the king of New York, and you will come running back to me. Uh, well, uh, this is where we start everybody out. Thank you. All we really require of you in the beginning is to input the data. When you get a little bit more experience, we'll bump you up to something more interesting. Some really fascinating account. Thank you. Well, do you understand everything? Oh, definitely. Well, if you need anything, just... Uh... Thank you. It's a puzzle, man. Yo! I'm talking to you. Jesus Christ, who'd you rob? Salvation Army? <laughs> oh, this is nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they hooked you up. You must be some kind of computer whiz be back here with me. Well, I topped my class here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then why the hell ain't you doing anything? Look, India, I'll tell you right now, they should give me your job and you should have mine. See, the only problem is I don't want your job. Nah, sitting around all day, punching numbers, numbers, numbers. Yeah, that's real fascinating. It's all computers, you know? No, it's number punching. Move aside. See? Yeah. Top of your class, huh? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> 108.5 KWOW. Punch him in, that's your job. I know data processing, okay? Terrific. Enjoy yourself. This is radio station 108.5. Trial run? This is a one-time only program. Well, relax, okay? Relax. It's just that a thousand dollars is a lot of bucks for something that's an experiment. An experiment? Yeah. This is a sure thing. Ah, uh, give me a break. This program creates a vendor. A balance of fifty-five thousand that's ninety days past due, plus a bank account to send it to. Now, we do a quarterly audit. So you gotta have the money back in three months. Then, you just enter so long, suckers, and the whole history of the transaction is erased. No trail. But I have to replace the money. You better. But I gotta have my money now. This morning. Are you gonna do it, or aren't you? Yeah, take it. What's this? But you bought the program. There it is. Wait a minute, what the hell am I going to do with a goddamn disc? Input it onto the mainframe. No, no, that's your job. That's not part of the deal. You asked me to come up with a program. Wait a minute, no, 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 you're not, don't want to. Oh, good morning, Mr. Chip. And how are the Mets today? Go to hell, you fucking little mook. Well, goodbye, Mr. Chip, you 
quadruple shit ka bachcha. What did you just call him? Oh, uh, hi. I just said uh, goodbye, Mr. Chip. That's not what it sounded like from here. Anyway, what right does he have saying anything to anybody? I lent him some money, and oh, it's dumb, dumb. Why am I such a soft touch for these assholes? I don't know. Uh, maybe some deep, generous inner spirit. You think so? You don't know me very well. When the hell did you get a job here, mind reader? Oh, first day. Did you uh, expect to move in when they hired you? I don't think they're going to let you sleep here overnight. Yes, I know, but well, actually, see, I'm trying to find an apartment tonight. Good luck. I know. Dear Ma, you know, sometimes the sheer generosity of the Americans just astonishes me. Generosity from out of the blue when you least expect it. What incredible, totally unpredictable and warm-hearted people they are. Uncle often tells me that if someone gives you a dollar here, they expect two back. But I know better. Now what could they possibly want from me? I got it made. Very nice. <sighs> Comfortable? Relax, relax. Welcome to my temple of love. Thank you, Jim. You know, this place is really too much. It is nice, isn't it? Oh, it is. You like my trophies? Matching lamps? from the twins, Mina and Nina. The wave machine from Diane. But my favorite is the bobbing bird from Charlene. Kind of reminds me of her. You know, Jim, I really must thank you for this somehow. For what? This place is empty most of the time. I insist. Well, now that you do mention it, there is something at work you could help me with. Name it. Well, it's nothing, really. It's just inputting a disc. That's right up my alley, Jim. That is right up your alley, isn't it? I'll tell you about it when we get back to the office. Okay. You got any running shoes? Um, no. Oh, man, what a great place to socialize. I know, but Jim, I'm not good at it. Oh, there's nothing to it, Arun. There's, there's only two important rules when it comes to women. Number one, talk to a woman the same way you talk to a guy. Really? Really. Number two is, just don't ever tell them the truth. Never. Never. Oh, come on, Jim. You got frankness on one hand, deception on the other. Oh, it's like yin and yang. Chocolate and vanilla. Uh, blondes and brunettes. Arun, these are the twin poles around which this crazy world of ours continually revolves. I know, I know, Jim. I just can't help thinking what my poor mother would say about this. <laughs> Mothers forgive everything, except not writing or not calling. Yeah. Oh, my God. Here's the crime. Father actually fought with Gandhi? Of course.
course he did. Arun is so modest. Didn't you see the movie? No. Well, Omar Sharif played his grandfather. It's a great place. Thanks. Wow. What are you drinking? Sherry, just like my name. No, 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 wait. Come here. Not this. Come here. Look, this is a little embarrassing. I know Jimmy will tell you. No, no, There's only so much woman here. Yeah. You're going to have to take a run around the block for a couple hours. Thanks. Jim, I got to go. I hope you don't mind, OK? Sorry, Sherry, but I'll catch you later. So to think that all those years, Ringo was actually having an affair with Jackie O, and nobody knew. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Here is ancestral property. It's a gift, really. Hi there. Hi. For my granddad, the Maharaja of Patiala, who uh, won it at the roulette table from Omar. That's uh, Omar Sharif. You know, girls, funny you should ask, but this little baby and me go way, way back. Thief, burglar, help, help. Thief, burglar, help. Excuse me. Oh, hi, hi. What are yeah. you doing? Is, is this yours? Yeah. Hi. Who gave you yeah. permission? Actually, no one gave me permission, but uh, you see, my uh, I have this program and my computer doesn't have a terminal. Well, there is a reason for that. You are not supposed to input anything. I know. It's for a friend. Well, are you finished? Yeah. I would like to have my desk back. I, I'm finished. I'll, uh, bye. Dear Ma, I'm having an amazing time here. I often simply wander through the city wherever my fancy may choose. And then I see quite a remarkable thing. A city which is composed of many little cities. A culture that's composed of many little cultures. Uh, hi, miss. I was just wondering whether that's uptown or this. This is uptown. I'll, I'll ask someone else. It's as if the world were at the top of a funnel which is draining constantly into New York City.
I hope someday, Ma, you get a chance to see it too. Sir, 50 ways to make a perfect club, but you'll please, love it. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yeah, come on, man. You got a quarter? Look, I, I don't have Can any money. Can you spare a quarter, please? Look, please, I said I don't have any money. I gotta get something to eat. Look, I'm hungry, you understand? I know, yeah, I don't have any money. You can have half of these. Go ahead, yeah. Are these union grapes? What are union grapes, yeah? No. Hello, my name is Arun. I'll hold. Now, I want you to remember, people, the main problem is within us. You can't wait for the perfect guy or girl to come along. You've got to go out there and get him. I'm going to give you a list of activities <clears throat> which will help bring about a situation in which you will meet someone. But it is your duty to make yourself interesting to that person. After tonight, people will want to come across the room and talk to you. You will emit a glow. You will emit a glow which will say, hey, I am interesting. Hey, I am what? Hey, I am available. Come and talk to me. I want each one of you to be able to release the hidden persona within you, which will say, Look at me! As you look at the list I've sent down, I would like each one of you to say a little bit about yourselves. Let me start from the back. You, sir. You. Why don't you tell the class a little bit about yourself and, and what kind of a uh, girl you are hoping to meet? Well, uh, uh, miss, see, Actually, I'm not hoping to meet a girl. Why are you here? Well, I'm hoping to meet a bride. Oh! Oh! That's a big prize! But you just... 
just can't walk up to somebody and say, will you marry me? Oh. There are ways to set up communication between you and them. Look at your list. Number 26. Okay. Smiling, yes. I want you, uh, Rune. I want you to smile at every woman you see on your way home tonight. Let's see. It's, it's difficult at first, but, but, but it gets easier. Go to hell. told me all about you. Who's Max? Yo, Indio, it's quitting time, man. Come on. It's time to uh, hang up the old numbers, kick back, eat some curry. I don't know. Do whatever you do. Carlos, leave him alone. Ooh, you a friend of Indio's? I didn't think he had any friends. Hey, hey, what is this, huh? Hey, and yo, and indio, and curry, huh? My name is Arun, okay? Arun. Arun. It's a really nice name. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful name. If you can pronounce it. Well, try. Uh... Arun. That's it, yeah. Listen. I wanted to apologize for biting your head off the other morning. I hadn't had any coffee, and you know... No, look, it, it, was, it was a really all bad my morning. Fault. That was all my fault. That okay. day, that week. Actually, it was a pretty lousy year so far. Bye. Bye. Could I ask you something? Sure. Is that the only suit you've got? Yeah. Can I be honest with you? I'm afraid so. That is the worst suit I've ever seen in my whole life. <sighs> yeah. Well, you know, they were having a sale and... Hey, maybe I could go back. No. No? No. no. Oh, no. Um... I am supposed to meet a friend, but that's not for a few hours. Could I take you someplace? Me? Shh. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, what's your favorite flower? Rose. How did you do that? 
Can you read this? Oh. This person is somewhat intellectual and keeps to themselves. They can't let others know their true feelings. It appears to me that this person was very romantically involved with someone, but that is over. And yet, there's a very close bond. Yeah, like loaning him money. What's that? Nothing. Go on. Travel. Oh, this person is going on a long journey. Really? Mm. Huh. And will eat many exotic foods. When? Soon. Where? Very difficult to say. What's it say about this person's love life? Hmm. This person is about to meet someone very attractive. Or have already met them. Oh, but... There seems to be an obstacle here. There are always obstacles. I mean, are they going to overcome them? Um, difficult to say. Oh, uh, I see it. The attraction is big, the obstacle is small. It's easily overcome. Do you know I have studied astrology for years and I still can't do what you just did in a few minutes? Oh, it's a lot of hocus pocus, really. You know, Faye, you can't take that stuff too seriously. No, but I do. Do you know the way you just sized that person up was 100%? Oh, that was just luck. You know, you ought to try some of this. It's the best I've had in New York, really. Mmm, that's good. Well, save any for me. Leslie, hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Arun, this is my friend Leslie. Leslie, this is Arun. Hi, Leslie. Leslie, guess what? Arun just read my chart and there's a journey in my future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you must work table to table. <laughs> nice. So where's this journey? Uh, uh, that's the mystery. We don't know. Yeah. How's the food here? You know, this really isn't the best Indian restaurant. Well, that may be so, but the naan is pretty good. Try some. You know, you speak English so well. So do you. Well, that was the best meal Whoa. I've had in years. Yeah. Well, next time, I'll pick the restaurant. Well, I'm sure you're more experienced. Uh, I'm, I mean, in this part of the world. Well, we'd better get going. We have a long way to go. You going together? Well, I wouldn't want to go home alone, would you? Of course not, dear. Well, I think I'll be going to. I uh, can't stand around here all night. Good night. See you tomorrow. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and the poor meet together, and the Lord is the maker Why of is them all. Why is this the most popular book in the world? Why? Why, this book has been printed in every single language in the world. Like them hamburgers, there's been billions and billions of them sold. This is why we call this the big book. I'll take one. <laughs> good. Carry a book. A popular book. Nine times out of ten, the other person has either read it or wants to. Hi. Man? Hey, hey, what have we here? Yo, in the O. Hi, man. Hi. Oh, you studying to be a priest? Come on, man. Carlos. I thought you was Hindu to Hindu. I am. I'm 
I'm a busy Hindu. Carlos, please go. Hey, I beg of you, man. You're always busy, man. You want to go out sometime, get your mind on better things, huh? Know what I mean? Yeah. Well, like maybe you and I, right? We can go to Club Caracas, huh? What do you say? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tonight. Just go. All right, I see you're busy, uh... Bye. <laughs> reading. <Yeah>. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. India. Did you get to the dirty pot yet? Oh, God. <laughs> You, you know, miss, that guy is a nuisance. Look at him. Look at him. He's a dirty guy. He follows me. <laughs> he harasses me. Anyway, he's gone. Huh? Yeah. You, uh, you're reading the paper here? Nice. You come here often to read? Yeah, nice. sometimes. Yeah. Today I have time. Today? Oh, yeah. And it's a nice day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing good in the papers no? today. I read page six, takes my mind off everything else. It, it's supposed to. But you know, miss, they say this book really takes your mind off things. They call this the big book. They say this book sells like hamburgers. Can I read you something? Please, allow my me. My guest. <laughs> Listen. Oh, wretched woman, where... Not, not... Listen, listen, this is good. Therefore, hmm? Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return Jeez. and come a singing unto Zion. An everlasting joy shall be Excuse upon me. Excuse their me. Heads. Excuse me. Yes, miss. Can I ask you a question? Anything. Are you a Jehovah's Witness? Mm, perhaps. You know, I don't go in for this fundamentalist crap. I've got my beliefs, you've got yours. I, yes. Why can't you respect that? No, I do. No, no, no. I don't try to me. suck me into this yes, holier than thou oh, shit. No, you know what please. really pisses me off about no, guys no, please, like miss, you? You, you sex is a weapon no learning no. coming on to oh, me. Please, and all you miss. really want was another little sheep, another blind collar that you could twist and manipulate in your sick little please, power miss. game. Miss, no! Hello, hello, miss. What big book? Who is this? Arun, it's, it's Becky. Can you call Jim? Right now? Oh, yes, right now. I'll call right back. <sighs> you call Jim, I'll call Becky. They call me right now. Hello? Hello. This is Arun from LMC. Uh, is this by any chance Mr. Jim's residence? This is his wife, Karen. This is his wife? I mean, hello, Mrs. Uh, uh, Jim. Hello, Mrs. Jim. May I speak to Jim? God, the fellow's got a wife. Hello? Uh, uh, Jim, this is Arun. Uh, Becky just called. Oh, I see. That's terrible. Of course it's terrible. She says she has to see you right away. You better think twice about all this, Jim. If you think so. Well, I most definitely think so. I'll be right there. Hello. Arun? Uncle? Uh, what are you doing on the phone, Uncle? Sita wanted to know how you are doing. I thought I would call you. Thank you, Uncle. I'm fine. How are you? How's Auntie? How are the children? They miss you. You know. Oh, Uncle, I miss them too. Uh, hello? Uncle? Uncle! There's something wrong with this phone, Uncle. That must be another call. Push down on the two little pegs. Push down on the peg. Push. What peg? This peg? Arun, is he coming? Hello, Becky, hold on one moment, please. No, no, Arun, Uncle? Just tell me, is he coming or not? I said, Becky, please hold on. Uncle! You sound like a very busy boy. They're treating oh, you Oh, they're okay? treating me fine, Uncle. They're treating me like family. Well, almost. You better take the other call. Yes, I'll take that other call, Uncle. One moment. Becky, come on over. Who is this Becky? Uh, Uncle, sorry. Uh, Uncle, actually, Becky is a quite a nice girl. I mean, uh, she, you see, she's a good friend of a very good friend of mine called Jim. Arun, and uh, I was not born yesterday. Your mother writes to me about this girl from Jalandhar. So I think maybe I will give you another chance. Becky, yeah? come on over. You are getting mixed up with girls here. You threw the job away? And up to some nonsense. Hey, what's going on? Hey, who is this? Becky, Listen, hi, Becky. Becky, Becky this is my uncle. Know. Uncle, this is my Becky. Oh, I, I mean, uncle, this is a good, right that, right that right nice girl I told you about. Hey, you don't go on about disease. Hello, are you there? 
Hello? He hung up on me again. I'm going to write to his mother. If his father was still alive, I will not worry about him. Why don't you try and talk to him? That's what I was doing. all day. Jim. Hi. And Arun was just on his way to the laundromat. Jim, I just did my laundry. Arun, there are so many single women at the laundromat on Saturdays. Go to the laundry at odd hours. Choose new laundromats. Go with dollars in one pocket and change in the other. It'll give you an excuse to talk to someone no matter what. Dear Ma, do you remember that soft, pleasant smell that filled the room on Uncle's visits to India? Well, I finally discovered what it is. America smells of Tide. seem to do this by myself. Well, I'm Arun. I'm glad to help. Well, thanks. That's good enough. Huh? You know, I seem to have seen you somewhere before. Well, probably. I tend to be in here half the time these days. Well, then here's where I've seen you. <laughs> oh, look at this. You left this in the dryer too long. No. This is never going to fit you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. Sarah can mess these clothes up faster than you can put them on her. Sarah is uh, your daughter. Mm -hmm. My husband should be helping me, but you think he'd get out of his chair on a Saturday morning? Not when there's a game on. Mm. I guess not. Well, thanks. My pleasure. You two-timing son of a bitch. You've been lying to me all along. Oh, Becky, you're the only one. Well, whose are these? Your roommates? No, uh, they're, they're not mine. Oh, shut up. You're as bad as he is. Uh, Worse. Arun, could you take a run around the block oh, no, no, for a no, couple no, no, minutes? No. He doesn't have to go anywhere, all right? I'm the one who's leaving. Get oh. out of my way. And what the hell are these, huh? You know, part of our deal here was that you keep this place clean, damn it. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry here. Oh, now, what do you have to be sorry about? Unless you're telling me those things are really yours. You know they're not mine. I didn't think so. Oh, man, I'm tense, okay? I admit it. I'm really tense. This little business deal of mine is not going so well. Not so well at all. Is there anything I could do to help? Yeah. Find me $55,000, which is what I borrowed from the company. American dollars? <laughs> Sure as hell isn't rupees, Gunga Din. And they don't exactly know that they lent it to me. You get it? Dear Ma, sometimes I get so lonely for home I just can't stand it. I mean, this city may be very exciting, but the loneliness here is devastating. To be among eight million people and to feel so disconnected, so rootless, that is the curse of freedom. Eye contact. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, India Worldwide, please. India Worldwide. Um, I am sorry, I don't think we had it. Look, it must have come in last night. Would you look there? Yeah. You're right, India Worldwide. Thanks. Return to the scene of the crime. Uncle, I... Oh, don't uncle me. You have a lot to learn about American girls. Look, uncle, it's not what it looks like. It's not? Well, I'm afraid not. In that case, I'm willing to forgive you and forget everything. Forgive me? Yes. But you've got to stop these crazy ideas about American women. They'll break your heart. Not one of them is a Sati Savitri. And it is not their fault. Look, uncle, I understand. Come on, deep down you know that. Only an Indian girl can understand how to make you happy. No. How are you going to explain everything to all these American girls? It's impossible. Plus, they are free thinkers. Look, uncle, I understand what you're trying to say, Good. but... I have a beautiful girl for you from Bombay. Look, yes, of course, was... You're Becky. Becky? Becky? No, no, no. <laughs> uncle, this is Faye. <laughs> Hi, Faye, this is my... How many girls you got? Are you going crazy? Look, I'm not crazy, okay? Look, Faye, I'm sorry, okay? Let's go, we'll be late. Dear Ma, I don't want to depress you, so I just won't describe my life at present. But how are things with you at home? Hey, stranger. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I'm a bit of a wanderer all around the city. <sighs> I was too, when I first moved here. I couldn't get over the fact that I was actually in New York City, you know? <sighs> that wears thin after a while, but God, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. It's the river. Yeah. You know, it's so ironic. This river is so diseased and polluted, but the sun just wraps it in this golden mantle. This a soft, eternal glow that covers a multitude of sins. Hey, that's wonderfully put. Are you from a family of poets? No. <laughs> We're pretty traditional, really. Believe it or not, I'm the rebel. I don't think an Applethorpe has moved more than 10 miles away from Turner's Falls in about 150 years. It was a pretty big deal, my moving to New York. So that's what you always wanted, to move to New York City? No. Are you ready for this? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be Audrey Hepburn. Oh. And then I wanted to be a research chemist, and then a crusading attorney, and then I wanted to be a Broadway showstopper. Oh. <laughs> and then I just wanted to be the girlfriend of a guy who wrote short stories and maybe someday novels. And what do you think? You and your short story writer will ever get together? No. No, he never even finished one short story, much less a novel. You know, I wrote a short story once. You finished it? I finished it. I never showed it to anyone. Well, I showed it to my mother and she liked it, but what else are mothers for, huh? Would you show it to me? Oh, you don't want to waste your time. No, I love wasting my time. How about tomorrow? Oh, no, tomorrow I'm going shopping, you know, to buy some spices and tea and cardamom. Oh, good, I'd love to come. Bring your short story, okay? Is that enough? Oh, yes. This isn't exactly what I thought you'd write about. <laughs> T-shirt with magical powers. Well, it's a silly idea, I admit. No, it's not silly. It's funny. It's really good. 
Look, I'm not a writer, okay? Well, you're a lot better than a lot of people I know who call themselves writers. Thanks. The mother in this story. Is that your mother? Well, loosely based, yeah. And the father? No, uh, my father died five years ago. I'm sorry. It's okay. Actually, I have an uncle and aunt here, you know. We don't see eye to eye at the moment, but they're still my family. Families are nice. Yeah. When you get along with them. You sure you don't want coffee? Would you like to go to my house for coffee? Daddy lives right around the corner. <laughs> What do you think? Wow, that... That really suits you, Faye. You know, I think I might have some old clothes in my closet that'll fit you. No, look, please, Faye. Please don't bother, OK? Look, I, I... I tend to dry quickly. You're wet to the bone. You have to discover things that make you see yourself as desirable. There is one thing that is always attractive. Humor. Anybody can be funny. All you need to do is learn some jokes. You, you know, Faye, the other day I heard this story, OK? And, and it, it's a funny story. And they, these two guys, like, they're walking along the road, OK? And, well, the, the, there's a basket involved. And, 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 and one guy says to the other guy, he says, uh, uh, well, he says, uh, if, if you're good, uh, I'll give you a chicken. And he did. Take this shirt off and put this one on. It'll keep you warm. Please, Faye, I'm... Look, look at me, I'm... I, I'm warmish. Nonsense. It was just a regular kiss, understand? Yeah. Kisses can be like that, you know, no bells clanging. No fireworks. Ordinary. Run of the mill. Every day. Companionable. Like that one. Just like that one. Why don't you take off those wet clothes? Is everything okay? Oh, everything <clears throat> is okay. Everything is okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Don't worry. Oh! Are you having trouble? I'm having no trouble at all. It sounds like I'm having trouble. I'm having no trouble at all. I'll be there in a little while. Maybe this isn't a good idea. It, it's a good idea. Believe me, I'll be right there. Nothing. Those are your pants. Yes, this, those are my pants. This is not going right. Look, I'll take my pants off. No, it's I, not I that. It's just... I never get involved with anybody I work with. That's my hard and fast rule. Look, please, I'll quit, OK, today, now. This was not supposed to happen. Oh, it was, it was. I'll go find something for you to wear home. Yo, Indio. Not sleeping well? Yo, Carlos, I sleep fine. You gotta get yourself a woman, man. That's your problem. Oh, hi, Faye. Look, Faye, I've got your... got your clothes here. So-so. <laughs> That's how it goes? 
Damn, I misjudged you, Indio. Look, Carlos, please. No, 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 no. You got woman problems. I'm here to assist. So what's up? Nothing's up. Bullshit, you may be new at this, but I can tell when something's up. Huh? I said nothing's up. All right. You don't want to talk about it? No. Okay. I'll tell you, Indio, this uh, trial and everything, it ain't always the best way to learn. No? No. Experience. Yo, Arun. Anytime you need a word, I'm here. Thanks. Hi. Hey, hey. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Uh, I'm late. Well, look, you're gonna have to get some dinner or something. I, I, hey, wait a minute. Jim, I said I've eaten. Dinner is on me. How about it? I'll see you later. I'm getting cold. My name is Jenny. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. Well, what's it to you? Who are you, huh? Who are you, Mother Teresa, huh? I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry, huh? She's sorry. Are you all right? Done. प्यारे अरुण यहाँ सब कुशल है घर में तुम्हारे बिना बहुत सूना सा लगता है मैं कैसे बताऊँ मैं कितना खालीपन महसूस करती हूँ तुम्हारे चाचा लिखते हैं कि तुम अच्छी तरह हो मन को तसल्ली है कि इतनी दूर होकर भी तुम चाचा चाची के पास हो और तुम्हें किसी बात की तकलीफ नहीं है तुम्हारी माँ You look terrible. You need some fattening up. I'm going to get you some food. Thank you, Judge. So how you have been? Well, actually, Uncle, uh, not very well. See this, uh, this, this America, you know. Very confusing place. I mean, it's, it's, it's not as easy and it's not as straightforward as, you know, the, the books and the magazines would have you believe. Look, Uncle, I've been thinking. I've been thinking that you're right. I'm wrong. You've always been right. There are things that I'll never understand about Americans and 
things they won't understand about me. That means no more American girls. Okay. No more American girls. Good. I know the right girl for you. Hurry. Huh? These sweets are so fresh. Thanks. You remember when my sister got married in your mother's hometown? Mm -hmm. Those sweets were just like this. Oh, well, those sweets were much better. That was made by that confectioner fellow from Jalandhar, right? He was from Chansi. Chansi? That's strange. I thought he was from Jalandhar. No, 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 no. He was from Chansi. Okay, okay. Could be, if you say so. Uh, Ashokji, if you say the word, uh, well, I can ask my daughter Poonam to come in. See, nowadays things are very modern. Maybe Arun and Poonam may have something to talk to each other also, right? Your uncle Ashokji says, you are a very bright fellow. I have raised my daughter Poonam to be also very bright. Ask Sundar. Last year, when we did our audit, she made a chart of accounts. It was very useful to us. And we used it this year also. What, Sundar? Isn't it right? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh. Namaste. This is my daughter Poonam. Poonam will be an asset to you in whatever you do. I heard that uh, you are a computer expert. Poonam also does computers. That is great. She also knows computers. Well, uh, to be very frank, I don't find much use of it. But one thing, even after I close the shop, Poonam and uh, Sundar, they worked with computers for a very long time. Well, uh, I have made all the jewelries, but I am going to give a computer also as a dowry. See, Mr. Singh, uh, look, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I'm practically drowning in computers. Now, uh, what will I do with one more computer at home? You will be helping Mr. Hari Singh with your computer. You can also help me with a computer. You are going to have a wife now. You have to think very big. Very soon, we are joining Mr. Hari Singh in a very big business venture. Computers will be very useful for that. Uh, what business venture and when did this come about? Quite recently. I will tell you later about this after the wedding. Hi. Hi. Come on, my boy. The final preparations must be done. You're an important fellow now, so I thought it's best not to disturb you at work. What's going on? What preparation? Soon you will find out. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Arun, you make some choice here for your wedding. Order whatever strikes your fancy. The best. Hari, your son-in-law would come to my store all the time when he lived here. Hare, uh -huh. bhai sahab, kya baat karte ho? For his wedding, how can I not give the best? Kimji? Right. Hello. Hi. May I help you, sir? Yes. My nephew here is an expert in computers. Mm -hmm. He needs a first-class computer. Oh, of course. We want the best. We have checked out all the prices, so no hanky-panky. No, uncle, what am I going to do with one more computer? Arun, take the best, my boy. Let it not be said, Hari Singh was stingy in his daughter's wedding. Okay. Let me show you this. This Apple Macintosh is really good value for the money. Yeah. Arun, go for a big one. Don't go for some small Japanese compact model. Dear Ma, by the time you read this, I will be a married man. It's a big step to take so far away from you and from home. But everyone assures me that Poonam is a fine girl, and I'm sure they're telling her the same thing about me. It's just that I had always hoped that my marriage would be more personal. But Uncle says that this is the only way to go. Well, I've left it to him, since he knows more about this than I do. India, <laughs> your worry just got her walking papers. What? <laughs> the skirt caught her hand in the till. Look, Carlos tried to speak English. Look, man, now that she's on waivers, you can forget about her, man. Hey, you're a free agent again. Carlos, what are you saying? Follow me. Say apple talk. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Help the self to 55 cool ones. And waivers, what what, what does that mean? <laughs> that means out of here, that's what that means. <laughs> that's 
That's interesting. Thanks. Faye? Faye? Faye, what happened? What's going on? I've been fired. Why don't you just give us a moment, Arun? Look, Mr. Duncan, they say she's a thief. Pay no attention to wild rumors. Then what is this all about? I don't think that this is the appropriate time. I have never even heard of vanishing office supplies. This is like a bad joke. Then why was the original entry dumped on your terminal? Look, Miss Duncan, Faye had nothing to do with vanishing office supplies. How would you know that? He is right. Anybody could have made this entry off of my terminal. Not likely. It's very likely. June, all's right with the world. Wow, nice watch. Oh, yeah, the better to tell time with. So what happened to Rich Uncle Dodd? No, Macadamia Nuts, June. You ever hear of him? Macadamia Nuts. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, I went to Hawaii one time. Did I tell you about the time that I went to Hawaii? Oh, Macadamia Nuts were great. You know, they had the little itty bitty nuts and they're really cute. But after a while, and everything in Hawaii starts looking like Macadamia Nuts. Have you seen a rune around? I've got some typing for him to do. Oh, uh, uh, Duncan wants to see you in his office. So long, suckers. It's my job. Arun, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to fire you, too. Oh, come on, Duncan. He didn't Duncan, know. Duncan, why? He didn't know what was going on. That's Everybody not right. Everybody shut up. The guys upstairs made it very clear. Anybody involved. I can't even write him a letter of recommendation. Take your time packing up. I I've got no time to pack. I'm um, getting married in the morning. Hey, what did I tell you when you got involved in this, huh? Remember? I told you that I would take care of you. Well, what the hell were you doing back in there, huh? Now look, Jim, you act as if I committed some crime, okay? Now all I told was a simple truth, and you know that. Look, Ace, I have a very simple code that I live by, okay? Rule number one is that you never rat on your friends. Rule number two is you don't believe all the bullshit coming down. But rule number one is everything. You never rat on your friends. Yeah, but uh, it seemed to me that I was more of a patsy to you. Yeah. I'll pack your things. That's my phone. Don't touch that phone. That okay. is my right. phone. Okay. That's my phone. You right. find your own phone. It's a big city, okay? Yeah. yeah. Idiot. Hello? Uncle, I'm in real trouble. Arun? Yes, it's Arun, Uncle. Look, I'm... I'm down and out. You are just nervous. No, I'm... I'm more than nervous. Everybody feels this way the night before they're getting married. All their life they have been free. Look, Uncle, I... I need your help. Arun, 
I never thought I have to tell you this. You are a grown up man. Take a strong drink and go to sleep. Everything will be fine in the morning. Well, the last thing I need now is a strong drink. Not too strong. Boy, was I nervous. I was more nervous than you are. You won't believe what I did when I got married. Arun? Hello? Arun, are you there? I can't believe it. He hung up on me again. He's probably very scared. Scared for nothing. What does he have to be scared for? He have a bright future. Getting married to Hari Singh's daughter is good for him. The bright future is tomorrow. Why don't you go to sleep and get ready for it? You're always sleepy when I talk business. Listen, look at me like I'm Paul Newman. What would you say then? <laughs> Are you crazy? Come on, answer me. How would you say? I'd say, Mr. Paul Newman, what are you doing in my bed? I'm a married woman. I'm Mr. Ashok Kumar's wife. You will really say that, won't you? You know, no American woman could say something so beautiful to her husband. you no didn't we meet on the Bowery I've never been to the Bowery Second Avenue men's shelter look I don't know you I it could have been the Christ Fellowship soup kitchen hey I don't know you I've never met you can you understand that Princeton class of 61 nah you're too young Princeton University I, I don't like to tell people that I went to school in New Jersey but there it is. It's hard to live down your past. What happened to you? I studied philosophy. You want to drink? Yeah, I've been told I could use one. You almost forgot my manners there for a second. Go on. Thanks. Mm. An acquired taste. <laughs> so, what's your problem? What are you doing here? Yeah, my... My dreams brought me here. I'll tell you something about dreams. They're a wonderful thing. A man who doesn't dream might as well just be a monkey in a cage. You gotta follow your dreams. One thing, though. You can't follow someone else's. That's what I call a nightmare. Yeah, but what if you have to? You never have to. The world's not gonna come to an end. Civilization as we know it, it's not gonna vanish forever. No species of fowl or fish is gonna become extinct because you or I don't follow someone else's game plan. Look at me. I studied philosophy. Then I went to law school. That's what really happened. I became a lawyer. It's a horrible thing. Hey, but now, now you're a... A bum. At least I'm not a lawyer. Are you happy? There are days. What am I going to do? Whatever you want. Whatever you really want. Pour me another.
My goodness, where is Aro? Don't worry, he will be here any minute. His friends are getting him here. We don't have him. Go find him right away. Where have you been? How do you find me? Your uncle is out looking for you. Everybody's looking for you. Oh, yeah? Huh. Would you stop a minute and let me talk to you? No. Then why don't you tell me who this is you're getting married to? How, how come I haven't met her? That's because I've just met her myself once. Then how could you have asked her to marry you? It is commonly known as an arranged marriage. People don't do that anymore. Oh, and which people would these be, huh? Arun, you can't do this. Why not? Because you just can't ask somebody to marry you that you don't even know. Look, 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 look. My parents met at the altar, okay? Now at least I've met this girl once. And, hey, hey. Faye, I've made up my mind what I'm gonna do about it, and I don't need advice from the Faye Applethorps of this world. Hmm? At least put your things in the back and let me give you a ride. Okay. I can't find him. What is this? Is this a joke? What do you mean? Where is your groom? This is a big insult to me. You always shout before you think. And now you're insulting me. Okay. This wedding is off. Mr. Singh. I knew right from the beginning. Nothing good will come off mixing with you, Kumar. When my cousin got married in your village, we were insulted then. Look, uh, my father wanted wait, to okay, cancel please. the wedding then and there. Stop it. But I said you were stop uncle it. pleaded with us. And then we agreed. Will you have been all night? I have no home. I slept on a park bench. Why don't you call me? Well, I have no job either. How can you fall so low in such a short time? <laughs> Getting pretty good at it, aren't I? Let's not worry about these things just now. We have to get you dressed. Look, uh, Uncle and Chachi, I... I'm not getting married. Don't talk mm. rubbish. I am not talking rubbish. Each and every last dog of your scoundrels. I will sue. <sighs> Look, uh, Mrs. Singh. Poonam. I know you think I've insulted you, and I just want to apologize, OK? Hey, I, I'm sure you're a wonderful person, huh? And one day soon, you're going to make someone a wonderful bride. Look, I'm a mess, OK? I'm sorry. I botched everything up. Please forgive me. Apologies? Apologies for showing up stinking drunk at your wedding? You fellows from Narayanpur are rotten. Mr. Singh, now how about you? Sure. Your uncle and your father went drunk in oh. Bunya's wedding and got kicked out. They had to go drunk. It was the only way to stand Singh, to look please. at your ugly cousin, oh, the yeah? bride. You must be confusing Bunya's wedding with your Mr. sister. Oh, the one who refused you? Arun, I forbid you to reconsider marrying this thief's daughter. Look, uncle, I'm not going to reconsider. Good, not a moment too soon. And to think a Kumar was so close to marrying into such a lousy family, I will have to make the prayers of apology to my ancestors. Apologize? You have to apologize to my face. Come here and listen to me. Shut up, Mina. My daughter has been insulted because I listened to you. Had you listened, you would not have been insulted today. Look, Mr. Singh, Mrs. Singh, please let's not fight, OK? Look, I know I've left things a little late, huh? And I'm guilty of everything you might think of me. But you got to understand, I came here to make my own decisions and to run my own life. Besides, there's someone else here who should be Poonam's groom. You are more drunk than what I thought. Drunk or not, he's the only one of you who can see things clearly. We had a perfect groom, but you refused to see him. Am I in a madhouse? Who are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Arun, Arun, mm. here's some food for you. Don't mention food, Judge. So, Hiro Sahab, how are you feeling? A little woozy, Uncle. Ashok has a job proposition for you. Really? No, no, not those terrible newspaper stands. Computers. Really? It is something I have been thinking about. He wants to computerize the entire business, and he wants you to do it. I'd be happy to do it, Uncle. We will talk later about this. Maybe you should first go and thank that friend of yours, the one who brought your stuff here from the office. Faye, is she here? Well, if she hasn't left yet. Faye. Uh, 
Where are you going? I just came to drop your stuff off. I didn't want to bother you. You're asleep. I'm going home. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm awake now. Uh, going home? Yeah. Said that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, you'll be... Yeah. Look, Faye, Faye, is there, is there any chance that uh, you'd want to see me again? Sure thing. But I just want to get some ground rules straight. Ground rules? I don't want any confusion. No confusion? In case you get any funny ideas. Hey. Just remember. What? We don't work together anymore. No. <laughs> Dear Ma, it seems like a lifetime of ups and downs and turnarounds have all been crammed into the last few months. But like a cat, I've landed on my feet. And now, now I'm quite ready to melt right into the big pot. Oh, man.